good evening all welcome to this new session this is a interesting session this is nothing but cocoon synaptamine so we will try to see all the different pathologies which can present as cocoons in the abdomen so this is the image you can see you can pause the slide and this is the osc you have framed this is for pre test you can able to answer all these questions uh, after listening to this lecture in the post test so here you can see uh, there are multiple small bowel loops typically seen clump clumped or clustered in the central abdomen and these are in turn surrounded by a hypodense membrane so this typically gives the mimic mimics the cocoon appearance so this is nothing but fibrocollagenous encapsulation of the bowel which is mimicking the abdominal cocoon in case of encapsulating peritoneal sclerosis which is eps so we, our main uh, intention is to describe about an eps and also other differential diagnosis of eps and what are the signs imaging features uh, and uh, treatment for this eps that is encapsulating peritoneal sclerosis so Uh, here you can see so what is encapsulating peritoneal sclerosis which is nothing but is a life threatening condition which causes fibrocollagenous encapsulation of the bowel which may lead to recurrent bowel obstruction uh, plain radiographs may show bowel obstruction and calcification barium studies will typically show concertina concertina like fashion arrangement of the bowel loops which in the form of a concertina like fashion which is a musical instruments ultrasound may typically reveal the trilaminar membrane we will see in the next images ct will be also show concentration of the part or entire small bowel loops which are encased by fibrocollagenous enhancing membrane Th thickness will be greater than 2 mm which gives the appearance of cocoon so this is the barium studies you can see there are multiple rigid uh, cluster of the bowel loops which typically mimics the bellows of this concertina like fashion that is the, this is nothing but a musical instrument so these clustering of the rigid cluster of the bowel loops typically mimics the bellows that's why it is called as concertina like fashion and here you can see these are the multiple bowel loops with the narrow base towards the mesentery and this mimics the cauliflower appearance and also you can see this is the typical trilaminar appearance of the ultrasound so here you can see uh, there will be echogenic layer outer echogenic layer which is nothing but the hyperechoic layer and surround and, and inner one is the middle hypoechoic layer uh, which is nothing but the mucosa and submucosa and also this innermost layer is nothing but the bowel contents which are echogenic so this is that classical trilaminar appearance that is hyperechoic layer uh, in the middle it will be hypoechoic layer and inner echogenic contents will be bowel contents and on also this is nothing but the ct equivalent of the trilaminar appearance so this is a classically a case of uh, eps that is encapsulating peritoneal sclerosis this i have taken from radiographics Uh, so what are the, the, the it can occur as primary or secondary that is encapsulating peritoneal sclerosis can occur as primary and sometimes secondary the secondary causes most important cause will be continuous ambulatory peritoneal dialysis with recurrent peritonitis peritoneal tuberculosis drugs like beta blockers such as pratolol methotrexate and asbestosis post renal or liver transplant intraperitoneal chemotherapy even levine shunts and ventricular peritoneal shunts and even some systemic diseases like sle sarcoidosis so these are the different uh, and also you can see these are other the different causes of the abdominal pain these are the common causes these are the uncommon causes and these are the associations you can pause the slide and see all these uh, causes and also there are three types of abdominal cocoon which are described in the abdomen the type 1 if the membrane involves only a part of the small small intestine it is type 1 if the entire small bowel is involved it is type 2 in type 3 if the colon or any other visceral organs is also encapsulated within the uh, cocoon it is type 3 and recently a type 4 cocoon has been described with neuroendocrine tumors where in the entire peritoneum inside lining the abdominal cavity is involved by the cocoon so these are the different types of cocoons next here also we can see these are the differential diagnosis we will try to see we will in the next slides we will try to see each image which depicts this entity so it can be differential diagnosis common will be tubercular peritonitis internal hernias peritoneal mesothelioma peritoneal keratinomatosis peritoneal encapsulation syndrome and eps uh, as we have already seen so what are the signs in eps you can see there are different signs in eps the characteristic appearance of tethered small bowel loops because of retraction of the mesentery has been described as gingerbread man sign this is nothing but the gingerbread which so the tethering of the small bowel loops with retraction of the mesentery typically mimics this gingerbread man sign and also cauliflower sign we will see in the next subsequent slides and also there is one sign called helix sign which helps in differentiating peritoneal encapsulation syndrome from eps that is encapsulating peritoneal sclerosis so what are the signs we will see so here you can see i have already told when there is a clustering of the bowel loops which is surrounded by the mem fibrocollagenous membrane which typically mimics the cauliflower here also you can see on ct there are multiple bowel loops which are attached to the mesentery so by the narrow base 
here also in the ultrasound this is the multiple bowel loose which are attached to the mesentery so these all mimic the cauliflower so here you can see this is the cauliflower so this is the cauliflower this is a cauliflower like appearance or cauliflower sign in eps next we will try to see this one helix sign here you can see this helix is nothing but a congenital variant where, where all the small bowel loops are seen clustered or clumped in the mid abdomen and which are in turn surrounded by a membrane which is formed congenitally and this is that membrane which is surrounding all the small bowel loops and these small bowel loops typically mimic the spirals of this helix so this is called helix sign in peritoneal encapsulation syndrome and this is the journal from which i have taken these images so helix sign in peritoneal encapsulation syndrome helps in differentiating this from encapsulation peritoneal sclerosis next uh, so we will see from other cases here also you can see there are adherent small bowel loops clumped in the central abdomen here you can see this is the mdct images axial and coronal coronal uh, post contrast images you can see there are multiple small bowel loops which are clustered and which are in turn surrounded by a 3mm thick membrane enhancing membrane which is surrounding it and there is even ascites so this was a case of tuberculous abdominal cocoon so cocoon can be also seen in tuberculous uh, tubercular abdomen especially wet type of uh, tuberculosis and this is the journal from which i have taken next uh, paradinal hernia so sometimes here also you can see there are multiple small bowel loops clustered in the left uh, anterior paradinal space um, so and also there will be there is also herniation of the vessels uh, through the foramen of lancet so this is nothing but a left paradinal hernia where there is all the small bowel loops which herniate from the uh, right to the left uh, and through the foramen of lancet so this is this is also mimics a cocoon so this is left paradinal hernia which herniates through foramen of lancet and right will be through the sorry fossa of lancet and right will be through the fossa of valdair so left paradinal hernia also mimics cocoon and here also you can see there are multiple thick there is thick and uh, great momentum with infiltration and all the small bowel loops in cluster in the abdomen with ascites so this was a case of primary peritoneal mesothelioma and also here you can see there is thick and edematous momentum with nodularity and the bowel loops are clustered in the center here also you can see there is the thick and uh, momentum and also there is a clustering of the bowel loops which mimics the cocoon both these cases are nothing but primary peritoneal carcinomatosis here also you can see there are multiple clustering of the bowel loops which are which are in turn covered by uh, bowel wall is also calcified and also wall of the peritoneum that is visceral peritoneum is also calcified uh, over the liver and also over the spleen so this is nothing but calcified abdominal cocoon which can be seen in long term uh, peritoneal dialysis and this ectopic calcification will be secondary to tertiary hyperparathyroidism so this i have taken from this journal and sometimes even you can see this is the plain radiograph which shows multiple calcification clustering of the bowel loops with calcification of the bowel wall and also calcification over the visceral peritoneum which is surrounding the liver and spleen and also calcification of the bowel walls and all uh, here also you can see there is uh, free air noted under the uh, both domes of diaphragm which is pneumoperitoneum probably due to hollow viscous perforation so calcified abdominal cocoon can also present with pneumoperitoneum so uh, we have seen different entities which mimics uh, eps and different cocoons in abdomen so what is the most common treatment for eps eps can be conservative treatment like steroids tamoxifen azathioprine and also sometimes mechanical mecha mechanistic target of rapamycin that is mtor inhibitors can be used and anti tubercular therapy use, can be used in tuberculosis surgical can be nothing but complete reduction of the membrane and even adhesiolysis can be performed and also recent drugs like melatonin rapamycin and uh, pyrfenidone is nothing but also used so coming to the post test uh, here you can see what are the classical is nothing but fibrocollagenous encapsulation of the bowel loop that is abdominal cocoon in eps other common causes are cbpd tb post transplant intraperitoneal chemotherapy can drugs cause yes beta blockers like uh, practolol methotrexin asbestosis can cause can neoplastic etiology can cause yes malignancy like neuroendocrine tumors thecomas ruptured gist or dermoids even gastric pancreatic neoplasmas or lymphomas can be associated with eps cauliflower sign and gingerbread sign are classical seen in this eps concertina like appearance on uh, barium and trilaminar appearances on ultrasound common differential diagnosis are peritoneal encapsulation syndrome tubercular peritonitis peritoneal mesothelium and carcinomatosis and these are all the treatment which i have already seen so this is the post test of ose i think i have covered some important causes for cocoons in the abdomen thank you all